Hello guys, welcome to Start Pro Tutorials. In this session, we will be discussing about Windlord Alarm Assist on this structure up to 5 stories subjected to different load com combinations. So, let us begin this session. Initially, start Start Pro. Select new project, give it a space, give name, units, we should check it up, it's in meters, so units in meters and kilonewtons, add beam, finish. Now, we go to run geometry, run structural wizard we select frame model b frame and give length as 12 meters number of base 3 height as 3 meters number of base 1 width as 12 meters number of base 3 apply you can see this is our structure we transfer this model to the main start pro screen okay now we go to 3d view and switch off the grid initially select general define rectangle property 0.45 by 0.3 select uh, the property and assign it to the entire structure assign now we assign supports but before that we need to raise this story to 5 stories so we select the entire structure using beam cursor and select translational repeat number of steps are 5 and default spacing is 3 the direction will be in y, y direction select ok so you can see this is our building 5 story building So now we assign support, create support which may be fixed support, select support, select front view, assign to the bottom nodes. Now we get to the loads. So initially select load case details, add. The first load number one will be dead load, loading type will be dead. Second will be live load, loading type will be live. Third will be wind load in x positive direction. Fourth will be wind load in x negative direction loading type should be wind we should rectify it to the third one wind load in z positive direction wind load in z negative direction We select the third load, just edit, select type as wind, change close. We can check for others. 
Okay, once we select the loads, now we assign. We give the numerical values to the loads. Select dead load, add first cell factor. Next will be member load. which is minus 6 in global y direction next we go to floor load which is minus 4 from 3 to 3 to 18 the range in y direction will be 3 to 18 meters select add close now we go to live load select add give the live load as only floor load which will be minus 2 kilo newton per meter square from 3 to 18 meters Now we assign the self weight to the entire structure. Also, the uniformly distributed load will be assigned to beams parallel to x and z direction. It is because the minus 6 kN per meter is wall load which will be acting on beams the floor load is assigned itself now we need to assign the wind load but before that we need to define wind load definition so select wind definitions definitions select add then let the type be 1 and comments be wind 1 add close select type 1 wind 1 add give the intensity as 1.5 and height as 18 meters can select type calculate you can change the category building category wind speed exposure whatever as per requirements add factor will be one add plus assign this exposure factor to the entire structure Sorry, we should assign to the nodes. Once the wind definition part is over, you can assign wind load. Select wind load. X wind load. Factor will be 1. Y range will be 3 to 18 meters. And close you can see the wind load applied now next negative direction we select wind load next wind load let the factor be minus 1 3 to 18 meters add close Now similar for Z positive and Z negative. We select wind load. Select Z wind load phase. Factor will be 1. The range will be 13 to 18 meters. And wind load in Z negative direction. Factor will be minus 1 since it is in negative direction and the range will be 13 to 18 meters add 
close. You can see it. Once the loads are applied, we can go to load case definitions, load case details. You can select add. You can define combinations. So our first combination will be. One point five dead load plus live load. This is just for name purpose. Factor will be defined in default one point five. You should define the factor here and select the particular loads dead load and live load and send it to the other side now you need you should select add next combination is 1.5 dead load plus wind load either x positive or z positive whatever 1.5 dead load plus wind load x positive now coming to the next combination it is 1.5 dead load minus wind load which will be x negative or z negative whatever you require so 1.5 and dead load minus wind load in z negative direction so first select 1.5 dead load send it to the other side now give the default factor as minus 1.51 and select the wind load in negative z direction send it to the other side and now you add now going to next load combination which is 1.2 dead load plus live load plus wind load so we select 1.2 dead load plus live load plus in load in that positive direction the factor will be 1.2 select dead load live load and wind load in that positive direction send it to the other side add and the last combination is dead load plus live load minus wind load dead load Plus live load minus wind load. This is just for naming purpose. So select the factor as 1.2. Select dead load and live load. Send it to the other side. Select the factor minus 1.2 and select wind load in x negative direction. Send it to the other side. So now we have 1.2 dead load, 1.2 live load, minus 1.2 wind load in x negative direction. Add. Once the load combinations are finished, you can go to design tab. Select concrete. Select the particular code, which as for me it is IS456. Define few parameters, especially compressive strength of concrete. For M30, concrete is 30,000, and yield strength of steel is 4150000 for FE415 steel. Similarly, secondary reinforcement 
also fe415 and select the ratio to be maximum 3 percentage percentage now select commands design beam add design column add take off add close you need to assign parameters to the structure secondary reinforcement to and ratio to the entire structure coming to design beam you need to select beams parallel to x and z direction because parallel to y direction will be columns select beams parallel to y direction so once this process is over you can go to analyze and print tab you can select no print option give it add close go to analyze in menu bar run analysis save so it might take some time for it to process so once the processing is over you can go to go post processing mode you can view the deflection for the particular load or else for different type of combinations you can see you can get even the bending moment shear force axial force you need to roll the wheel of your mouse you can even obtain the section displacement animation press escape you can even view the reactions by selecting reactions tab you can even view the graphs which is in required in most complicated structures coming to reports you select output whatever output you require to submit in the report for example you need to submit beam in the displacement beam and displacement beam maximum moments beam maximum shear forces beam maximum axial forces reactions so once this is over you select okay so in this way the reports are obtained maximum moments shear forces axial forces and reactions so this is the end of the tutorial in our next tutorial we will do earthquake analysis thank you